Hello, my cheese. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss about Brahmari Pranayam, which is also known as bee breathing. It is a calming and soothing pranayam technique which involves humming sound during the exhalation. It is derived from Sanskrit word Brahmar, which means bee. The practice of Brahmari Pranayam quiets the mind, reduces stress, and promotes relaxation. In this video, you will get to know about the steps, the benefits and the contraindications of practicing Brahmari Pranayama. So without a further ado, let's begin. Find a comfortable seated position in quiet and peaceful environment. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax your mind and body. Place the thumb on the cartilage of your ear, your ring finger and your middle finger should be on your eyes and your index finger and your middle finger should be on your forehead. Now take a deep breath in with your nose filling your lungs completely. As you exhale gently press your thumb on the cartilage to close the ear opening partially. Keep your mouth closed and make a soft humming sound like of a bee during the exhalation. You can either Keep your head steady or bring it down as you exhale. Maintain a steady and smooth humming sound and feel the vibrations in your head as you exhale. After completing the exhalation, remove the thumb from the ear cartilage and inhale normally with your nose. Start by doing 7 breaths in a round then take a rest for few seconds and then start again. You can increase the number of breathing rounds over time as you get into the practice regularly. These are all the steps which are involved while practicing the Brahmari Pranayam. Now let's talk about its benefits. It helps in calming the mind. The humming sound created during Brahmari Pranayam helps to shift the focus inwards, promoting sense of relaxation, calmness and mental clarity. It helps in reducing stress and anxiety. The practice of Brahmari Pranayam activates the parasympathetic nervous system, triggering the relaxation response, reducing stress and anxiety levels. It helps in improving concentration and memory. Regular practice of Brahmari enhances focus, concentration and memory by quieting the mind and improving mental clarity. Helps in relieving tension and anger. The deep exhalation and vibration produced during the Brahmari can release pent up tension, frustration and anger, promoting emotional balance and harmony. It helps in promoting better sleep. The pranayam technique helps in relaxing the nervous system, quiet the mind, alleviate insomnia, allowing for a deeper and more restful sleep. These are all the benefits which comes with the practice of Brahmari Pranayam. Now let's talk about its contraindications. Individuals with severe ear infection or ear issues should avoid or modify the practice by, by placing their thumb lightly on the tracus, which is the small ear cartilage in front of the ear opening. And women should practice Brahmari under the guidance of qualified instructor as modifications may be necessary to ensure comfort and safety. People with chronic respiratory condition or breathing difficulties should consult a yoga therapist before practicing Brahmari Pranayam to ensure it is suitable for their specific condition. These are all the contraindications which comes with the practice of Brahmari Pranayam. Once you finish practicing Brahmari Pranayam, keep your eyes closed and feel the effects of pranayam on your body and mind. The speed of this video is clocked at two times and that is of the actual video. Here. So these are the things that you need to know before practicing the Brahmari Pranayam. I hope you people will enjoy this video. So the result for today my is I will bring more yoga related content in my upcoming videos. I am posting a video every day if I am not busy. So make sure you watch my videos every time I upload it to get into your yoga practice. I will bring more yoga content in my upcoming videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, thank you and Namaste.